Have you ever thought about how much it costs for your burial? What a ripoff. You have to go into debt to die. Whatever happened to being buried out in the back 40? Things were so simple in yesteryear. You would be put in a pine box and they would plant you under an oak tree. Dying has become a huge industry. You buy your burial plot, your vault, opening and closing, small gravestone, which costs about $3,500. Then the funeral expenses at the very least is about $5,500, so figure. Oh, just to bury me in the back 40. I don't even need a gravestone. All that matters to me is that Jesus knows where I'm at when he comes back. But that will never happen. No back 40 for me. I already have half of the expenses paid for in advance. And we'll be working on paying for the funeral expense. So there you have it. For shame, for shame. Thank you. This is a two, little two stanza poem called Bleeding Hearts. The sting of a stingy tongue lacerates the heart of a dying soul crying for love. But the tongue desecrates a bleeding heart beyond repair. Severed relationships is an enigma of our time. Thank you. Have you been watching the news report lately? Yeah. This is called Earth's Weather Forecast. Today the skies will be darkened with hate. War is on the horizon. Tonight, bombs will rain down upon innocent people. Tomorrow, we see some beheadings in the Far East by terrorists. Sniper fire will prevail throughout noonday, with an occasional suicide bomber self-destructing throughout the day. The five-day forecast has a grim reaper frontal system moving into all areas of planet Earth. Death and destruction will prevail. And there you have it, the weather forecast for the upcoming week on planet Earth. God help us. On uh, September 11, 2001, the greatest event of our time happened. I think all of us who were alive at that time know where we're at. Just like we were when President Kennedy was killed, some of the other events. On the 12th, I wrote a poem about that event, and uh, I put it on a website, and at that time there were like, I was number 1,000 or 12 or 13, something like that. A couple of years ago I got on that website again, and would you believe there were over 5 million poems about that event. And I'd like to dedicate this to all the, the people that perished on that day, and it's called Silver Wings. Oh, the flight of silver wings struck into our hearts, a horrible and most terrible thing tore us all apart. Now the voices of angels sing about that perilous day, and unto God we must cling so we'll be able to say, He touched us with His loving hand in our hour of need. Please, O oh God, heal our land is our lowly plea. Give us justice, we do say, for those who, did who we did cherish. Mend all the wounds, I solemnly pray, so hate it will perish. We know the 11th of September will always be here to stay. But one thing I hope we'll remember, that you suffered anguish the same way. Thank you.